Okay, this lecture is going to cover the urinary system, um, also known as your excretory system. So it's major structures and functions. Okay, so these are some of the major functions of the urinary system. Not to say that it is limited to these, but these are the major ones. Um, first and foremost, it gets rid of wastes. So there's a variety of minerals, vitamins, nutrients, and then toxins, things that your body wants to get rid of that you either have too much of or your body does not need to function properly. And um, any of those that are water soluble or can be carried out through a liquid, your body will urinate them out. So you can see how getting rid of waste and maintaining mineral and vitamin levels are kind of tied together. Um, <clears throat> it also maintains the water levels of your body. For instance, if you keep yourself really well hydrated and you consume a lot of liquids, then you're probably going to urinate fairly frequently um, because your body has excess amount of liquids in it and it doesn't need that many to function, so it's going to get rid of some. On the other end of things, if you're dehydrating yourself, you're not consuming enough liquids, then um, you probably will not urinate as frequently because your body's tried to conserve what water levels it has. Um, also, monitor blood pH. Of course, water has the pH of around 7, and your blood pH is fairly close to neutral as well. So the amount of water in your body is going to keep the blood pH close to neutral, and that ties in with how much water your body gets rid of or conserves, depending on how much you're consuming and how much your body is getting rid of. Now, one of the main functions of your urinary system is your kidneys, right? And this is actually where your urine is produced. It's produced in these little things called nephrons. And they're the actual structure that makes the urine, and they're located within the kidney. If you think about it, the root for kidney is nephro. So it might help you remember nephron, nephro. Um, of course, your kidneys are pairs. Um, there's two of them, a right and a left. They're located next to your lumbar vertebrae, so towards your lower back, in the back of your body, and they're about the size of your fists. Now, once all this urine has been produced in the kidney, it leaves the kidney through tubes called ureters. And these carry liquid or urine from your kidneys into your bladder. Um, now, how do you think that the urine moves through the ureters? Like, how do you think that it's pushed or processed through them? I'm hoping you guys guessed circular contractions through a smooth muscle, also known as peristalsis. That would be good. Now from the ureters, as we said before, it goes into your bladder, your urinary bladder. And this is where urine is stored until it's ready to be secreted. So now what do you think actually triggers the body to say, you know what, it's, it's time to urinate. I can't hold it anymore. i got to go now. I'm hoping you guys said the nervous system. That is correct. Good job. And I also wanted to throw this in there. The process of urination, so the actual process of going number one, right, going pee, um, is also known as <laughs> micturition. So I wanted to throw that out there so you guys would know that other term might show up on a test or something like that. Um, but they mean the exact same thing. So finally, once your body is signaled that it's time to go to the bathroom um, and your bladder is now ready to release urine, it does so through a tube called your urethra. All right, so this connects the bladder to the outside of your body. Now, females have a much shorter urethra than males. Um, and so why do you think this would make a female more susceptible to urinary tract infection? That's what UTI stand for. I'm hoping that you came up with the idea because they're much shorter than they're much closer to the outside environment of the world. Um, of course, you know, not just, I'm not saying bodies, and no matter how hygienic a person can be, there's bacteria all over your body, there's all sorts of germs and things out in the world. So the closer your urinary tract and your bladder and stuff are to that outside world, of course, the more susceptible they're going to become to urinary tract infections. It's also interesting if you look at these two pictures. What you'll see is that a, a female's urethra is simply connected to her bladder. The only function of that urethra is urination. Now, if you look at the male's anatomy, what you'll see is that urethra is not only connected to the bladder, but it's also connected to the male reproductive system. And so it has, the urethra has two functions in a male. 
Um, we'll get into the other function later in another lecture, but that's it for this one.